Welcome to The Wee Chef. I'm Gail and this is my daughter Jasmine and today we're going to be cooking a recipe with spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash, that's right. It's in season right now so it's really fresh, it's really cheap and it's a great way to substitute for a pasta dish. So if you're on a low carb diet or you're trying to introduce more squash and vegetables in your kid's diet, this is a great thing to cook with. Um, today we're going to be making a meat sauce with it, so it's kind of going to be just like spaghetti with meat sauce. We've had to kind of learn ways to get creative, and this is a great way to do it. Um, spaghetti squash kind of has the same kind of texture as spaghetti would, so it's a great way to substitute. You can be really creative with it. So it's really simple, it's really easy, it's clean, it's fresh, it's low calorie, low carb, so it's, it's going to be really tasty. So this is what you need. You're going to need one spaghetti squash. We chose a really big one because we have six people in our family. Um, we have some garlic. I'm just chopping up some garlic and peeling it and some chopped and peeled onion. And for seasonings, we're just going to use Italian seasoning, some garlic powder, hey. some salt and pepper, hey, and some, we're using ground beef for the meat sauce. You can use your ground turkey or you know, your ground soy, whatever you like. We're going to sprinkle some Parmesan on top when we're done. Cheese. And this is optional. You can use your um, tomato sauce. I found this today at the store. It's a lighter one. It's low in calorie and it's fast. So we're just going to use that in the oven. Um, and there's lots of different ways. But for today, we're going to um, just cut it in half and then we're going to saute it in the pan. But first, I kind of microwaved it for about 10 to 15 minutes to get it softer. It makes it easier to cut. So Jazzy, watch out. I'm going to cut it. Okay. Move over a little bit. We're going to cut it lengthwise in half. So we're just going to get it open. Whoa, that's how you mm -hmm. You've got to use a really good kitchen knife for this. I'm going to turn it around. Yeah, that's how Okay, so we've got the squash cut in half now. It's still a little hot from the microwave. But we're going to go ahead and scoop out the inside. See the flesh um, and the seeds? We're just going to scoop out this part in here. A flat spoon. Yeah, with a spoon. And then we're just going to discard it, put it in a bowl. Okay, so we've got um, it all scooped out from the middle and the flesh right here. If you can see, it has these little strands that look like spaghetti. So we're going to use a fork. We're just going to draw it out into a bowl. And um, it should be nice and, and kind of half cooked already from being in the microwave. It makes it a lot easier to pull the strands out. So, so we're just going to... I'll show you that, Jazzy, okay? We're just going to take it and pull the strands towards the center, kind of scooping it out. And try to be careful, yeah, try to be careful not to mush them all together. You want them to stay like the strands. Okay. Okay. As you're scraping out the little spaghetti strands, look at that, it looks just like spaghetti. Yum, it's making us hungry. Yummy, look at that. Everything scraped out into our bowl. Um, one large squash made a good amount of these spaghetti strands, so it's going to be a lot of food. So we're going to go ahead and saute these in a pan. Um, I sprayed it with cooking spray. I'm going to go ahead and spray it. And heat it over medium-high heat. So our pan is nice and hot. Ready to add these strands. So we're going to saute them until they're soft and the moisture is pretty much cooked out of them. Mm. Yes, let's add the seasoning. I'll add the garlic. Okay. There we go, about a teaspoon of each. Some pepper. Some salt. No sweetie, not yet. I'll put in 
I'm going to saute it probably for about six minutes. Let's see how it does. You could stop here and maybe toss it with some olive oil or butter and sprinkle some Parmesan cheese and it's delicious just like that. But we're kind of in the mood for spaghetti meat sauce tonight, so that's what we're going to do. The squash is done cooking. It made a lot. It looks really good. Um, you might want to try a strand of it. Make sure it's tender enough. Um, if it's not, just cook it a little longer. But ours looks like it's about ready. So now we're going to go ahead and cook the onions and garlic and the beef. Get it ready to make the sauce. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and saute the veggies and the meat. We're going to have it heated to medium high heat on the pan. Spray it with some olive oil cooking spray. And add the chopped onions. We'll cook them until they're translucent and soft, and then we'll add the garlic and the ground beef. Jazzy's over here snacking on the spaghetti squash. <laughs> okay, so the onions are cooked, and we're just gonna go ahead and add the garlic. Can I add the garlic? Can we put it? Yes, go ahead. Saute that just a little bit, and then we're going to add the meat. We'll go ahead and add that. And just break it up with the spoon or the spatula. And then we're going to just add our seasonings, the garlic. And then we're going to add it. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. And I'll add some salt. Just a little bit of salt. I like And some pepper. Careful. Okay, thank you. And just cook it through until it's not pink anymore. Okay, so our meat and our vegetables is pretty much cooked through. Um, if your kids aren't big fans of garlic and onion, you can just skip that step and just use the ground meat or whatever you're using. So now we're just going to add about a cup of our lower calorie, low sugar tomato sauce. And we're just going to let it simmer for a couple minutes. Like so it's smells so good and we just have our spaghetti squash waiting for it. So our meat sauce is simmering away. Getting ready to put on top of that delicious looking spaghetti squash. Looks like a big mountain of pasta. And the cheese. Oh yeah, and the cheese that goes on top. Alright. And look at that. Oh, delicious spaghetti squash and meat sauce. Okay, that's enough. Show mommy. Look what we made. A healthy, delicious spaghetti squash and meat sauce. Yeah. Now we get to eat it. Now we get to eat it. So thanks for watching our video on how to make spaghetti squash with meat sauce. It's super healthy. It's super easy. And it's so delicious. Right, Jazzy? Yeah. Yeah, and everybody likes it. Even little Ava here has been snacking on the spaghetti squash. So we hope that you try it out. I hope you really enjoy it. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and comment and rate on our videos. So we'll see you back here at the Wee Shop. Bye. Bye. That was fun. Cheers. Mmm, -hmm. oh, so good. Yeah. How's it? Yummy. Yummy. Mom, can I have some more? You can have some more? Yeah. So you guys, if you have not tried this recipe, you have to try it because it tastes just like spaghetti with meat sauce and it's barely any carbs. It's really healthy for you and it's a great way to just cut out uh, the calories and it's just it's so tasty and I don't think that I'll be making regular pasta for a while. Bye. <laughs>